Karina from Citizen Television. Today we are here at Krinos' 23rd annual Taste of the Danforth. If you didn't already know, they are expecting over 1 million visitors. So come along with me and experience everything from plate smashing, face painting, and free food. The Krinos' Taste of the Danforth is Canada's largest street festival, welcoming approximately 1.6 million visitors every year. The 2016 festival is celebrating its 23rd anniversary, and this year, the festival is even bigger and better than before. Yeah. Hello, right now I'm at a yogurt stand. What is your name? My name is Annie. Annie. Annie, okay, what are you doing here at this yogurt stand? So we're at the Taste of the Danforth today, and we're selling yogurt for $1 for the Greek community of Toronto. So where exactly is this money going to in the Greek community? Um, this money's going towards costumes for uh, the younger kids and dance groups like us as well for older kids like us. So you're part of a dance group, so can you tell me a bit more about that? Um, yeah, we're actually all part of the dance group for the Greek community. And there's different levels of the dance groups. One of them you have to audition for, the other ones you can just go in based on age, and it's a lot of fun. Walking through the festival is such an excitement. There is always something happening in every corner. If you would like to learn how to dance, there are instructors to teach you how to move. Right. In. Twelve. Right now we are okay. witnessing One the teaching time. of a Greek dance. Seven. Come down to this event Eight. so that you can Nine. learn how to Greek dance Ten. together with your family. Visiting the Taste of the Danforth Greek Festival, you will get the chance to travel back in time to meet Greek gods and goddesses. Here, we have Zeus, the god of thunder, demonstrating the power of his thunderbolt. Try your luck playing in the lottery. Her luck was average. She only got a $5 coupon. Are you enjoying your corn today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, is there any other food that you'll be wanting to try? Yeah, I'm here to try all the Greek foods. I hope maybe a Slovakia, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I'm open to trying new things. Or, you know. And are you here by yourself? No, I'm with my family. I took the chance to practice my stepping with the Spanish rhythm. I learned about the environment at an Ontario park stand. Hi, I'm here with Katie at Ontario Parks. Katie, what are you guys promoting here at your kiosk? So we're just here talking about the Learn to Camp program and the Learn to Fish program. So connecting people with nature and getting outdoors and camping and fishing. Cool. Yeah. So what are these things here that you have on the table? So you'll see some pelts that you uh, probably easily recognize from being in the city. Uh, so a raccoon for one, the fox, the squirrel, as well as some egg replicates too. Just talking about nature with them and how they can connect with it um, and just respect it and be outdoors. So if I wanted to learn more about your parks program, where would I have to go? So you can head to our Ontario Parks website and we actually do have a section for the Learn to Camp program. So for people who have never camped before, they can check it out there. It's a great program and they can also sign up online as well. And Learn to Fish similarly has a website as well. Coming to the taste of the Danforth and not trying souvlaki or gyro won't complete your visit. You must go for it, even if you need to stand under the hot sun in a long waiting queue to get your food. Moreno, 
meals. Can you please tell us exactly what you guys offer here in your restaurant? Yeah, we have the wraps, they're called gyros, mm -hmm. and we have pork or chicken, mm -hmm. and included in the pita is tzatziki, yes. or garlic yogurt sauce, yes. tomato onions, the meat, and the fries. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this festival here increases your business, or tell us it's about it? It's exposing our businesses throughout the whole damn fourth, mm -hmm. so people know what we have to offer as a specialty. We are now halfway done this festival, but there's still so much to do. The weather's great, people are great, everybody's enjoying the festival. I went dancing, I went to Missini Authentic Gyro, where I learned about how they cook authentic Greek food, but we're not done yet, so come on. Fun games were everywhere. Mom scored a goal and won the prize. Are dance performances that you can see, like the one behind me. So come on, I even got a chance to go on stage and dance also. Michelle, she is one of the most beautiful belly dancers I've ever seen. Michelle, please tell me what this is. This is the Shamadan, and I work with the Academy, Egyptian Academy that's on right in front of you. Uh, we have a great time. This is actually right from Egypt, and it's special ordered, and it's very, very heavy. Would you like to try it? Yes, please. She's going to put it on my head I'm now. Oh my god, I'm scared. And you have to dance with this, which is quite Whoa. amazing. That's really heavy. On an open dance floor, a granddaughter beats her grandpa with her dancing skills. The day was full of excitement, happiness, relaxation, enjoyment of colorful performances, and displays of so many interesting things. The last event catches our camera. A musical display from a street performer playing different instruments will forever remain in everyone's hearts.
This has been such a tiring day, but I'm really happy to have been here and experienced this with all of you guys. I got to eat free Greek yogurt, learn about animals, dance on the dance stage so many times. Toronto is such a great place that everyone from all different cultures, races, sizes can come together and enjoy an adventure such as this. Thank you for staying with me on this Taste of the Danforth. This has been Lena from Citizen Television.